So Burns, and today I'm actually going to show you how to do watercolor on graphics clear Duralar. Pretty cool, right? So um, if you've ever worked with, with graphics clear Duralar, you probably noticed that acrylics work really, really well on them. So they adhere to it really well. You can do a lot of great things with it. You can do um, heavy body paints all the way up to like a high flow or a thinner uh, viscosity paints, and they stick really well to the surface. However, if you ever do watercolor, on a graphics Duralar film, uh, the clear Duralar film, it doesn't really stick very well, it kind of beads up and it just, it doesn't look, you know, probably the way you want it to. So to achieve this, to actually stick to, uh, for the watercolor to stick to the clear Duralar film, I'm using what's called pastel ground from Golden. Now, when you're using pastel ground from Golden, you might notice that it's, it's kind of a semi-transparent material. When you open up the jar, it's kind of gray looking. Um, you actually had to add some water to this to thin it out to make it a little more transparent. So I've got a sheet of clear Dural or film from Graphics that actually has a uh, pastel ground on it. And you can see it's pretty transparent, but um, not all the way transparent. And that's going to happen because of the pastel ground. However, the more you paint and the more layers that you add with your watercolor, these streaks that you have in here are going to kind of go away. Um, they're still there, but they don't, you can't really see them as much. Now, on this example, I probably put the, the pastel ground a little heavy in some areas, and so it's a little streaky, and that's going to happen. But overall, I mean, it's still very, very transparent, and you can even do this as a painting, you know, where you see actual look from the backside if you want to do it reverse, which is kind of fun too. So this kind of opens up a lot of uh, doors of watercolor and working on surfaces and adding um, some sort of transparent ground that you can apply watercolor onto, you know, surfaces that maybe you never thought you could before, like uh, the graphics clear Duralar film. Now, if you've ever used like the matte Duralar or the wet media um, Duralar from graphics, which I have here, um, the watercolor actually sticks to it really well, but this is all um, acrylics um, and you can see it's semi-transparent. I can work on the backside and have things come forward if I wanted to, which is really fun. And so this is a great material that does a lot of wet media. So you can do watercolor on there. You can do some thinned out um, acrylics or thick acrylics, doesn't matter. You know, it just depends on what kind of wet media you want to put on there or just acrylics in general. You can also even do um, uh, alcoholic inks as well if you wanted to. So that's a great other material to work with. And it comes in different sizes. I mean, obviously I've got a large sheet here, which I bought a big roll and then cut it. But they also come in packs like this. Um, some, you know, are a little bit larger than this and some are even smaller. And so this is actually a 14 by 17 size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get everything set up. We're going to put pastel grounds onto a clear sheet of graphic Duralar and we got to let that set and dry. It really it only takes about maybe 10 minutes or so to fully dry. Um, you can use um, some sort of blow dryer if you need to, if you to, to kind of quicken the process for the drying. And um, once that's dry and ready to go, and then we're going to actually trace uh, the image, which I have right here. So this is the image that I chose. And so once that's dry, and you lay this down on top of it, and the um, it's ready to go, and it can actually hold a pencil mark. Now, um, a couple of things is that you can just not do a pencil and work off of here, but the reason why I like to trace it out and then take this away is because I can really see what I'm doing. Because when I put this on here, because it's transparent, then as I'm painting, I may not fully know if I've covered the area completely with the watercolor, if I need to add another layer or so. So I do add a couple layers um, as I start painting. So that way, you know, I make sure I've got full coverage on the area to make it look more like something like this. So I'm gonna get everything set up and I'll show you how to do it. 